Well, Ghana's presidential election will test the country's reputation for strong democracy and economic growth in Africa's so-called coup belt. Joining us for discussion on uh, what to expect on Friday when the election takes place. And we'll also take a look at what's taking place in Uganda right now with regards to currency weakness. Rory Daniels, head of Africa at RMB, joining me at the desk. Rory, it's good to have you with us. So let's immediately kick off, uh, firstly, with your view on what's taking place in Uganda with regards to uh, the, the impact of the rate cut, 50, 50 basis point rate cut to 12%. Uh, we've got the currency trading just under 2700. Uh, what's the outlook from here on out? I think the outlook for the currency isn't very promising. I think it'll continue to slide and weaken, slide, weaken further. I think, you know, up to where can it get to 3000? Will it be 2800? We certainly think it's going to go through 2700. We're there already. Mm -hmm. uh, the rate cut 50 basis points, probably as expected, under 12% the rate. They're a little bit concerned about growth now. Um, inflation's kind of on the back burner. Food inflation been, has been checked, but not in check, if you, can, if you look at it that way. But I think growth-wise, they, they're concerned about the lack of growth in, in Uganda. I think you've got a bit of trouble brewing in, in one of the neighbors as well. So I think politically, they need to be making some political right music or right noises out there to try and, to try and G that economy up a little and bit And of more. course, it was a country we were also optimistic about when they had the discovery of oil. And, you know, that still hasn't come to bear. So what does Uganda have going for it right now when it comes to key productive sectors? I think the outlook for the oil thing is very promising. I mean, it might only, you know, it's only going to be, I think it's late 2013, 2014, but it's still positive. I think there's still been a lot of flow of funds into, in, in, into Uganda. I think, um, you know, they, they still do their coffee, they've still got a bit of tea on the go as well. Agriculturally, it's, it's doing well, it's sound. Um, the, consumer, the consumer side of, of, of the economy is, is, growing quite, is growing nicely and quickly. So I think those things are positive for, for, for Uganda. It's, not, it's a kind of a country that kind of hovers there under the, under the radar. You know, it's offered good yields. It's, it, it's been, it's been, there's been lack of central bank intervention in the country. The central bank hasn't come and changed rules. So we still like it. Um, unfortunately, from the region point of view, We've, had, we, we've kind of pulled back a bit, so, so, so the guys on the desk trading it are pulling back on the region a bit ahead of mm -hmm. the sort of Kenyan elections, I think, mm -hmm. is, a, is a key driver for that whole region now until March. Yeah, it certainly is an interesting point. So let's jump from the east to the west. Let's look at Ghana and the election that takes place on Friday. Some are saying it's going to be a cliffhanger presidential election. Uh, 2008, you had a near deadlocked election. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, on how this is going to play out? Because you've got the same main opposition leader yeah. coming uh, into the election once again close i think is the is, is the key is the key word here it's going to be a close election you know we we, we often sit and, and discuss these things amongst ourselves on the desk and we bring in our our, our ladies from research and we get talking about it and uh, it, it's, a, it's a difficult one to call um i think that the opposition there's a lot of reasons why the opposition is, is got a good chance of getting in and uh, certainly the, the existing party i think there's concerns about a bit of excessive spending by the present government so there's the, you know, that bodes well for the opposition. I think it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's too close to call. I think last elections were swung on around, I think it was 30,000 votes. Um, it, it was as close as that. So yeah. when it's that close, it, it can go either way yet again. Now, Nana Kufo Ado, who is the opposition leader, blood in politics, his uh, father, in fact, was a uh, previous Ghanaian president. But what are your thoughts right now on the election promises he's making and what he offers to Ghana? I think it's, 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 it's promises that are made across the board. I mean, when we look at elections through Africa, there's a lot of talk. And, you know, I'm, 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 always, I'm, I'm often referred to as a bit of a skeptic and a, and a cynic, but there's a lot of talk ahead of the time. Mm -hmm. What happens post the time? I think Ghana is a good democracy. I think there's a lot of good things being said, you know, for the people, for stability. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of getting those into, in, into the, 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 the process when they get elected to try and you know, carry through on the promises, which I think doesn't always happen. And I mean, he's a lawyer, so I assume he's arguing his case quite well, a British trained yeah. lawyer. Let's talk about the current president. He took over when Atta Mills passed away. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on the views towards him? He's been in politics for many years. Again, it's a... Uh, a good father figure for, for for the nation i think i think ghana for me does does a lot of right things and then very few bad things they they, they kind of get a few things wrong but i, I think principally it's a it's, it's a good story you know and and again when when your when your voting is that close is the is the message the different message from the two guys that different mm -hmm. you know it's a, it's very similar stuff that they're all trying to say so i i think it's a, I, I think he's led well i mean you know again 
the problem being the the public sector side of it. You've got to you've got to watch that spending. You know, where is the money being spent? I mean, mm. is are we any different here? Yeah. But uh, to look at exactly what's being spent, where control the things and show the people that you are actually improving the infrastructure, improving the healthcare. I mean, healthcare is is a key driver there. Infrastructure in Africa, two two key drivers.